Hey Gemini, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning into your weekly tarot love reading. Um, and I will be laying out six cards to have a look and see what's coming up in regards to matters of love. So uh, please keep in mind this is a general reading. If you would like a private reading with me, all the information that you require is listed below in the show more section. Otherwise, we'll give the cards a good shuffle and see what comes up, starting off with this deck first. Um, I just want to thank everyone for liking, sharing, and subscribing as well. Uh, it really does mean a lot. So thank you, everyone, for all your support. Um, let's have a look and see, Gemini, what's coming up. Okay. I feel like you got the Ace of Swords not long ago. Okay. Ace of Swords, Four of Chalices, Seven of Wands. Okay, there's a lot to think about here for you. There's a lot to process, um, possibly a lot to communicate, and it could be around a new romance or someone you feel is a significant chapter in your life, someone who has come in for a reason. Um, but interestingly, it's almost like he's looking to the sword. He sees it. But he's still thinking about it, Gemini. So you're not making potentially any big moves as yet. Okay, you have two aces this week. So this is this is a powerful week in love, potentially. There's two romantic partners coming in, or there's possibly a restart. Now, I often associate the ace of cups as like a renewal energy. Um, and I did mention sort of... Uh, um, an ex potentially thinking about you. So you may have this person approach you and ask you for forgiveness. Now, for some, they may ask you for a new chapter, um, you know, to have a new relationship with you again. But for some of you, you'll sort of be sitting on the fence. King of Wands is coming up as reverse Gemini. So this is you not making, you're, you're not making the moves. It's either you're leaving it to this person, you're leaving it in their court, or you're sort of leaving it up to the universe um, because you can see the hand of God here. This is like the universe that has put this sword here. Uh, we see the hand of God that's sort of intervening on your behalf. It's almost like you're not taking action unless you see signs from the universe. You might be feeling a little bit scattered. Seven of Wands is here, and to me, this is quite a disorientated energy. It almost looks like a figure sort of reaching over, um, reaching over to the sun. It's sort of like in desperation. So... I don't know, Gemini, you're coming up as the Ace of Swords and the Seven of Swords reversed. This is good because I feel like you're done with any game playing, mind games, strategy. Uh, this is like avoiding an issue. Um, because normally this is, you know, him stealing, he's looking back, he's doing something wrong. So there might have been deception going on in a connection. You might have been talking to other people. You may have been doing something that you know is wrong. Um, but now you're stopping. Okay, I think if you're coming up as reversed, it's either you you know something is wrong or you're not going to be doing it at all. So it could be that you're no longer taking part in someone else's song and dance. Okay, there might have been someone that's sort of taking you for a joyride, uh, Gemini, and Four of Chalices, you're thinking much seriously this week. You're actually seeing the effects of a relationship, maybe, or seeing the effects a person has on you. Um, and there could be powerful epiphanies, maybe very two very powerful epiphanies um, that, that, that happen around you, okay? Um, but I do feel like they're connected to signs from the universe, okay? This could be an important message. An important message that comes to you from your spirit guides, from your intuition, from the universe. You know that this is you as the messenger, though, and so it's sort of like the dove delivering the Eucharist here. This is a powerful message, powerful message to fill your cup, to have you feeling better. So if you're going through some things, Gemini, that know there's like reassurance from the universe here that everything's going to sort itself out. Everything's going to be okay. I don't see you taking action, though, with the King of Wands. Seven of Swords. If you've been doing something you know is wrong or if you've been allowing something to happen that you know is wrong in a connection, it's almost like you'll stop. Um, 
because I think the seven of wands in this deck is quite a disorientating energy. So you may be feeling a little bit disorientated. But four of chalices, you know, this is the revelation card. And like I said, interestingly, in this image, it looks like he sees the sword, but yet he doesn't he doesn't go out and get that opportunity. Um, it could be you, Gemini. You could be the sword here. Okay, you could be sort of putting yourself out there to a person or to a connection, um, and they're not biting the bait. Okay, so it could be that if maybe it's not necessarily someone represented by cups, uh, but there could be someone. This is like lack of action. Four of chalices is so deep in thought and contemplation. King of wands is reversed. So in this case, he doesn't want to take any action or she doesn't want to take any action. And you could be sort of putting yourself out there. Uh, notice how the sword is sort of stuck up and, 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 you know, like you're ready to be taken. You're ready to be received. You're ready for, um, you know, you're ready to talk. So if this is, you know, you've done everything you, with these three cards, it's almost like you've done as much as you could on your part. And now you're waiting for someone to respond. So if you've been, you know, if you're, if you're waiting for that, I mean, Gemini, it could be that this person right now is thinking they're not going to make any drastic moves. So if the roles are reversed, um, I do see an offer here that is being made. But for some reason, it's sort of blocked by these cards. So there might be, you know, it might take time for this person to come around or give you a response or make you an offer of love, um, even propose, you know, if this is anything like marriage and tradition and commitment, it might be that they're thinking about it. So they haven't said no yet, Gemini. So just know that they may be deep in thought. They may not take any drastic action this week, but eventually you will get your offer because there's a message coming in or there's a sign or the symbol. So it's almost like a week where you need to pay attention to the signs because they're going to lead you to your answer or they're going to lead you to whatever this is that you're wanting either from this person. Quite an interesting read though for you this week, uh, Gems, but I will leave it at that. Uh, thank you again so much for tuning in. Uh, please remember this is a general reading. If you would like a private reading with me, please feel free to reach out. All the information that you require is listed below in the show more section. Um, this has been an absolute pleasure, Gemini, and hopefully um, I'll have some other readings out to you next weekend. So please feel free to tune in then. Have a fantastic week. And we shall be catching up very soon. So take care and bye for now.